It's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Summer is just around the corner and I'm going to be showing you guys one of my favorite shoe essentials, which is the classic strappy heel. And you know me, I love a big fat chunky heel, but I'm also really feeling the clean lines that a strappy heel will give you. This is that infamous minimal sandal from Zara that you've seen on loads of blogs and for good reason too. They're timeless and a clean way to strut your toes. I'd say they're not the comfiest, but if you watch Claire from Hey Claire on YouTube, I know she wears these all the time, so maybe they get comfy with wear. And this outfit is kind of inspired by Claire's rocker yet refined style. The kind of refined element comes from this plain black tee, and the rocker element comes from these loose fitted boyfriend jeans. And these come equipped with a bunch of awesome slashes and little paint droplings scattered around it. And I accessorized with this green stone necklace from Regal Rose and then I decided to put on some silver rings from Misguided. Since the pants were a little bit baggy, I belted it with this concho one that I got at the Alameda flea market and then I added a beanie onto my head. So The next shoe is a cheaper alternative for the Zara one. I'd say they're almost identical, except for these are nude and they have a patent sheen. And I believe this shoe comes in black as well, and these are from Daily Look. And I am wearing this gorgeous flowy maxi dress, and it's completely decked out in this very elegant and girly butterfly print and I think it's a huge feminine statement piece and especially when it's rustling through the wind I can't help but want to wear it at a beach or um, a boardwalk or something I don't know I think it's gonna be really nice to wear on a summer date If you're iffy about showcasing your toes, there's always a pointy shoe option. These exude a similar aura of class and refinement as the previous ones, but you have the ability to cover any janky pedicure. For my outfit, I am wearing a cobalt blue dress and I think it's great because the hem has a subtle asymmetrical hemline and so it's longer in the back than the front. To add a little bit more of a formal element, I added this gold plated belt which is thin and I think it, I don't know, makes it look kind of expensive. And then I added this massive black bag that can store everything and the kitchen sink. And lastly, I added a scalped floppy hat into the mix for a resort-like feel. My last shoe makes a nice statement. It's got a thicker heel, so it's the comfiest out of all the shoes that I've showcased. And I like how they add the black and white together for a nice color block effect. For this outfit, I'm wearing a crochet cream top that is cropped and they have these adorable little drawstrings on the chest and they're not very functional, but I like the movement they add. For pants, I'm rocking these mustard trousers. They're quite formal if you pair them with the right button down and I think they'd make excellent business casual attire. But for this outfit now, I went for a quirky, I guess somewhat Parisian look by adding this beret. I hope you guys enjoy the outfits. Please open the down bar to find the item links that are available in this video. And also check in the down bar for details for the giveaway that K-Style Me is hosting. And I picked up my cap and gown today. Oh, I'm graduating on June 15th and I will be officially done with college. I'm probably gonna do like a graduation outfits video maybe next week if I have time, if I'm not pulling my hair out from finals. If you're on Instagram, my username is I'm Jenim, and other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!
Hey guys, I'm Jen and it is June, so that means we're going to recap what I really enjoyed last month. So let's get into it. As you may or may not know, I went to Yosemite last month and I powered through a 14 mile hike. It was crazy and strenuous, but it was doable because my surroundings were just breathtaking. I think I saw around six waterfalls, I definitely saw a deer, and just gorgeous rock formations. Anyway, I wore these leggings with little metal ringlets on it, and I think that they create kind of an industrial polka dot feel, which I can really appreciate. I knew leggings would be a good option because they're lightweight and they cover up your legs. When you're hiking, you don't know what type of environment you'll be enduring. You can pass by shrubbery or rocks or droplets of water, ticks, whatever. As for maintenance, I probably washed these three or four times and the metal has not rusted, so that's a great sign. So sunscreen is being reinstalled into my makeup routine again because it's getting hot and that sun's getting intense. Prior to using this facial sunscreen, I just used regular body sunscreen all over my face. It didn't bother me until this spring, I don't know why. I think I just felt compelled to buy something specifically for my face and I went with Shiseido because it reminds me of my mom. So I thought I'd try it out and so far I really like it. It's Shiseido's Urban Environment Oil-Free UV Protector and it has an SPF of 42, which I think is a good number. The sunscreen has a really watery consistency, which I have mixed feelings about. On one hand, I like that my skin just drinks it up and it absorbs really quickly, but on the other hand, I feel just odd distributing it evenly across my face because it's so watery like I have trouble portioning it but it gets the job done and I know that I like it because I haven't been forgetting it in my routine if there's something that I'm not really feeling I tend to forget it and um, this one I've been wearing every day and it doesn't feel thick and it doesn't feel cakey under my makeup so my laptop case is actually too big for my actual laptop and I wanted to find a sleeve to kind of buffer the movement from the extra room it has. I ran across this one from Etsy. I, I believe the Etsy name is Yoshimi. And what I love most about this is the warm color palette and the southwestern feel. It's got an adorable little tassel with a skull on it which just kind of melts my heart. I love that it's a really soft felt material and honestly it's not the thickest thing. It's a good sleeve if you're going to put it in your backpack or a purse that has a laptop space equipped within it. My next pick is a song. It's called Miasma Sky by Baths. It's from his new album, Obsidian, and I'm still currently listening to it and absorbing it and so far I really like it, but this track is the one that caught my attention first. And he's proved that he knows how to write, you know, a melodic and sweet infectious song. But the thing with William is that it never gets old and it comes off as really fresh and new to me every time I hear it. And for a little background, I've been a huge fan of Baths for I think around three years now. He used to do a lot of local shows in LA and Sarah and I used to go do a lot of them. And I think our last show with him was March 2011. I remember that day because we were trying out new makeup looks for a photo shoot that we were going to do the next day and we decided to practice the night of the show so we had this crazy face paint like makeup on it reminded me of the scene where Marie Antoinette wears that black band across her eyes we were too lazy to wash it off so we went to the concert like that and it was just a lot of fun I think Bads really brings up some good memories in my heart and it's awesome to reconnect to those I've been venturing out to nail art territory and personally I'm not ready for the ice cream cones and the little pink rhinestones and all that stuff so I thought I'd ease into it with these little metal studs. I got this packet of 500 on eBay for less than $5 so since you have so many of them it's a good way to just have a nail party just invite a bunch of your friends and get your nails did. I've been having a lot of fun mixing and matching different colors with it and they're really easy to apply. Step one, use a base coat. I'm using this one by Sally Hansen and I don't have any commitment to this one. It's just the first one I picked up and I'm waiting for it to run out. And then you're gonna wanna get any color. I chose Revlon's Buttercup because I wanted the yellow and the gold to kind of fuse together. So you're just going to apply this on your nails. Just add one coat and after that, you're going to go in for round two. 
For this step, you're going to want to take it finger by finger. So you're going to add your second coat and then immediately you're going to need to grab some tweezers, get that little mini stud and place it to wherever your heart desires. And I chose the bottom middle part of my nail because I thought it looked cute there. And after you're just going to want to press the stud in place firmly with the back of the tweezer. But not too firmly or else it'll shift and move the stud out of place and just ruin your nails. After, you're going to want to use a top coat, and this one I swear by. It's my favorite top coat because it dries super fast. It's not the shiniest top coat, but because it dries your nails so fast, it's just a necessity for me. And so you're going to want to take a top coat of your choice and put maybe three or four coats of it, and then you're finished, and that's the look. I think they're a wonderful way to add a little spark to your fingertips. And if you happen to try this look out, please post it on Instagram or Twitter and hashtag Close Encounters or hashtag I am Jen Im. I say this specifically because when you guys tag me at at I'm Jen Im on Instagram, I can never see it because it gets washed out on my feed so fast. So when it's at a hashtag, I can see it permanently and I can like it and comment it and it'll be another way to interact with you guys. So that wraps up my favorites. Please comment down below if any of these items have said something to you or if you want to say something back. I think comments from my favorite sections are my favorite because when we have something in common, I get super excited and it is just a fun way to talk back. I hope you guys have an incredible weekend and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!